Am I the asshole? For expecting my date to cover the cleaning cost of the dress he ruined? I am in a bit of a dilemma and could really use some advice. I've been seeing this guy for a couple months, and we decided to go to a nice high-end restaurant for a date. Initially I was going to wear a nice dark blue dress that I like to wear out, but he asked me to wear a different white dress that I had shown him once as it matched his outfit I've never had a guy ask me this. The white dress in question was a gift from my late grandmother and was quite expensive, so I was reluctant but agreed and just asked that we didn't go anywhere after where I might spill something on it or otherwise mess it up. He mentioned clubbing after dinner which is why I said that, I didn't want to risk messing the dress up and he said we could just go to dinner and I could change out of it before doing anything else. Great. However, the evening took a turn for the worse when he accidentally spilled his red wine all over my dress. He had gotten an unexpected call and when he tried to quickly mute his ringer, his elbow hit his glass and it spilled all in the lap area of my dress before I could react. It was completely drenched and stained. He was apologetic at the time, and I tried to be cool about it, but inside, I was devastated, especially since I had mentioned specifically how I wanted to be careful wearing it. Later, I mentioned to him that the dress was very expensive and asked if he'd be willing to help with the cost of cleaning or replacing it. To get it professionally cleaned and the stain removed would cost $100, which I asked him to pay half of. To my surprise, he got quite defensive. He argued that it was an accident and that I was being unreasonable for expecting him to pay for something like that, and that it was my fault for wearing it out knowing that it could have happened. I feel like it's a matter of principle. Yes, it was an accident, but the dress is ruined, and it was extremely sentimental to me not to mention a valuable dress. He thinks I'm being materialistic and making a big deal out of nothing. Now, I'm not sure how to feel about his reaction. Am I the asshole? For expecting him to cover the cost? Happy to send you $100 to cover the dry cleaning. Ditch this loser stat. Nope not the asshole he caused the stain, and he knows you wore this dress for him. Not the asshole the dress in itself doesn't matter here, the accident was his and regardless of the value of the dress he should be responsible for getting it cleaned. He's arguing over 50 bucks. Blame. Not the asshole. I think you know this is ridiculous and that you've been dating a loser. Not the asshole. Get your dress repaired, send him the bill, then forget about him. Well at least you learned quick he's not the one. $100 is pretty cheap and light on time you put into him. Not the asshole. Girl, run. It's $50 to help make whole a priceless item of yours. Even if he didn't ask you to wear it, if he caused the accident, it would be on him to address. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. There are consequences even for mistakes. It doesn't absolve him of responsibility. If he's not willing to pay even $50 on an item he ruined that clearly means a lot to you then I would say at least you dodged a bullet. Not the asshole. If it was an accident absolved people of all responsibility, the law would look very different. How is it more fair that you have to pay for his accident? I'd accidentally throw up in his car on the way home. Not the asshole. If he was that into you, he would have offered to pay for it of his own volition find someone who isn't so careless. Not the asshole. I would be paying for your dress and or finding a dress designer and tailor who could recreate it new. If I were you I would dump this petty R. If he had anything about him then he would pay for the whole thing. He is showing you who he is. Not the asshole. It is perfectly reasonable to ask him to cover the cleaning cost entirely but you only asked for half. It would have been better if he had offered without you asking. Not the asshole. Not the asshole but I would consider $100 cleaning bill and a dinner party story about a crazy or full date a good deal. As others have said it's good that you saw his character early. Best off away from him, thumbs up. He's responsible for the full amount. Someone who doesn't pay for cleaning costs after something like this is not worth anyone's time. Not the asshole. 
He did this on purpose. Consider $100 the price of getting him the fuck out of your life. Seriously, never speak to this guy again. This was him seeing what he can get away with. If you allow this, it will only get worse. Stay safe girl 3. Not the asshole. He is showing you who he is, pay attention to it. Was it really dark where you guys were? Not the asshole. Of course um it was an accident. Does he not understand that insurance companies pay out on accidents and that civil courts determine damages for them? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You're very lucky here, most assholes don't advertise their assholery so blatantly at the beginning. You got the full picture of who he really is before he entrenched himself into your life through a relationship, marriage or kids. Not the asshole. Ditch the cheap skate. Not the asshole MF did that on purpose. A gentleman would offer to pay without you ever needing to ask. You're not the asshole to expect the man you're seeing to be a gentleman. As a man, if I caused that accident, I would pay 100% of the cleaning cost. Dump the loser. Not the asshole but at least now you know the guy you're dating doesn't believe in accountability. This should have been an easy owning of his accident. And he dodged responsibility right away. This is not a guy to keep. Let him go. Make room for an upgrade. Not the asshole. You can't force someone to give you money, but you can definitely get free of this R. He's already showing you he isn't going to take care of you or what you care about. Instead he blamed you and criticized you. Not the asshole. He is. Dump him. On the other hand why did you ever buy a white dress that you are afraid to wear? Not the asshole. The fact that he didn't volunteer to get it cleaned is astonishing. There's a part of me that is thinking that this was more intentional than accidental. Look at the bright side. It only cost you $100 to find out what kind of phony and deadbeat this loser is. Dump him quick. Not the asshole. And dump him now. Not the ah, but he sure is. Dump this loser and all his, triangular flag on post, 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 triangular flag on post. Triangular flag on post. Not the asshole because it was an accident is the reason you're asking him to pay only half. Not the asshole accident or not he is responsible for cleaning up the dress. I suspect it wasn't as accidental as you think it was. He is showing his true colors and he is not worth your time. Natar. Lose him. Not the asshole. He's a d-bag for asking you to wear it, ruining it and not offering to have it cleaned before you asked. Not the asshole. If he's not willing to spend $100 to right a minor wrong he's not going to be there when times get tough. Not the asshole. You'd previously expressed to him the sentimental value, and reluctance to wear the dress due to this very reason. Paying half is the least he can do. Not the asshole. Dump him and if it was me, I'd haul him to small claims court for the full $100, plus the cost of filing and a process server.